Should I go? Should I go? Should I go left? Should I go? Should I go? Should I go right? I don't know. How about we ask the man behind the lyrics himself? <laughs> million users in less than a week's time it's safe to say that meta has done it again with the release of its new social media app threads i'm going to save you a lot of time here okay so it's basically twitter except designed by instagram twitter feels the same way and so twitter is threatening to sue meta the powers that be over at meta are already pushing back against that statement and meta is saying it's not the same because they don't actively elevate political topics Put the camera back on me. Sada child. <laughs> oh, and then Elon Musk got really upset and challenged Mark Zuckerberg to a literal <laughs> measuring contest via tweet. Yeah, you heard me right. Nothing to see here, folks. Just straight white genius billionaires doing what straight white genius billionaires do. How barbaric. <laughs> now, all of that foolishness aside, this next story truly touches my heart. The last three known survivors of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre will continue their quest for reparations. After a judge recently dismissed their lawsuit, the survivors, all above the age of 100, are seeking amends for the opportunities they were denied when their neighborhood was burned to the ground. Now, if you don't know about the Tulsa race massacre, man, it's some of the most disturbing African-American history you will ever read. Okay, so their neighborhood was burned to the ground. Their attorney says they plan to take the case to the Oklahoma Supreme Court, and they're not giving up. The dismissal of this case is just one more example of how America's, and specifically Tulsa's, legacy of racial harm, racial distress, is disproportionately and unjustly borne by black communities and black individuals like ourselves. But despite Tulsa and America's attempt to silence, change, and gaslight the facts and truths of our collective racial history and trauma, we as survivors and all of those that believe in racial justice, we will not sit quietly or passively to allow mistruths or injustice to persist. How touching. My elders? say they will continue to fight for justice until their last breath, and I stand with them. To know me is to know I love going to the movies. Yes, I'm that girl. I'm the AMC A-list Stubbs member, and I will my power like no other when I'm in the movies theaters. I mean, you stand in that line over there, and I'm gonna stand in my special line, okay? I could have a whole AMC Brands deal. AMC, give your girl a call, all right? So you know, I'll be seeing the new Barbie movie this weekend, all dressed in pink. <laughs> now, I wasn't expecting to see Oppenheimer, but when two big movies debut on the same day, tell me what's the girl to do, David. <laughs> Diamonds in my eyes. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. It's a big day on July 21st when two high profile and very different films hit theaters. Barbie starring Margot Robbie and Oppenheimer starring Killian Murphy. The AMC theater chain says more than 20,000 members of its Stubbs Rewards program have bought tickets for a Barbenheimer double feature, planning to see both films, total running time nearly five hours, on the same day. I'm destined for greatness. But those in power will only see me as a sword. I suggest you take the throne as a king. Holding on. Shall we vote? More than 20 years after he played a different emperor in Ridley Scott's Gladiator, Joaquin Phoenix reunites with the director for Napoleon. The epic action film chronicling the rise and fall of Napoleon Bonaparte marches into theaters November 22nd. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. When people ask, Portia, what's your favorite song from Renaissance? 
I always say, I love me some pure honey, honey. But did you know that song was sampled? Yep, the Queen Bee herself sampled one of the most legendary songs in the LGBTQIA plus community, all right? And the original song is called Cunt T by the Kevin Aviance. And if you don't know who Kevin Aviance is, well, you need to get your life and catch up with BME. Kevin is a world-renowned drag queen, artist, nightclub personality, and a fashion designer. Well, my publicist worked some of her magic, and I got the chance to speak with him. And as an executive board member of the Beehive, you know I tried to get all up into his mind. And let's just say, things got a little heated. <laughs> I've been waiting for 24 hours to scream, because <laughs> I love your honey. I love your honey, like real bad. A lot of people call themselves a legend, an icon, but you seriously are that. I'm not hyping you up. I wouldn't lie. I did my research. I literally, I, you are legendary. Okay. <laughs> We're about to play a game called Pure Cunty Honey, rapid style, with the legendary Kevin Aviance. I got to put on my Renaissance gloves for oh, uh, Kevin. Oh, I'm a beehive fanatic. <laughs> what the hell was going through your mind when you found out Beyonce was sampling one of your legendary songs? I passed out. <laughs> I passed out on the floor, girl. Like, are you getting paid every time we stream it? Because I play it a lot. Okay, so don't cut my money. Uh, <laughs> second of all... <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> um, B did not come bring all her. She didn't bring her. She didn't come this far in her life not to take care of things. So I am. Um, I am. It's yeah. Just know that. That's all, that's all you need to know. I'm a big. I'm an executive board member of the Beehive, right? Are you featured on the Renaissance visuals? Next question. <laughs> Are you hoping? that Beyonce brings you out in New York City. You are too much. I, you know, that's what they say. You know, that's what they say. I love that. You know, I'm gonna send that clip to the fan pages. Really the last question, Beyonce, have you met Beyonce? Did you get a chance to meet her? Yes. You did. I know that you have seen so many P Beyonce impersonations in the drag world, like so many. Who's your favorite? I don't have a favorite. They're all good. Shangela? Is, it, is that her? I feel like she just really killed it one time. It was like insanely good. My, my thing about impersonation is that you have to look like one. Listen, I got to get down to it for the beehive. You feel what I'm saying? Favorite Beyonce song besides Pure Honey? Um, I guess on that album would be, my favorite song is Cozy and then it goes to Plastic Off, off the Soap. Now, you know Tata, Beyonce's former stylist, yeah. real have no tie. I'm I'm constantly tagging him in my stories <laughs> and I'm like always screaming, real have no tie. <laughs> Is there any look that you can think of that he styled that you just love and that scream Conti? I love when she did the Met Gala and she had that, that latex dress on from Balenciaga. It was Balenciaga she was wearing, that, that, that cream colored. I just thought that was just like so feminine and so pretty, so simple, but yet so good with the cap sleeves and everything. It was just, it was beautiful. She was, she was doing the little beading, the little the intricate beading on that latex. was just so gorgeous. Forget everything else. Forget everything this album, this album has done. But the one thing it has done it's open up our black community eyes. There's always a there's a queen, a lesbian, something in everyone's family in the black community, right? Amen. There's somebody. There's Amen. somebody. There's somebody you had to deal with. Somebody at church you had to deal with. <laughs> that was one of the children, okay, right? All that stuff is just pain. It's pain and trauma that has been put on us, and people have no ideas. Conti, yes. what does that really mean? What does that mean? For okay. People who don't know, break it down for me. So for, for, for the uh, for the for the person that's trying to find out, um, it's an anointment that we are that's bestowed on us and that is um, given from the gods. And um, and I say the gods meaning we're all gods. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that we've all been passed, the ones that passed on everything, they 
send down or send to us the energies that we 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 are that we need to emote out to the world. Back in the day, we used to think about girl, you either cut or you're not. You know what I mean? <laughs> it like boom. Boom. It's like boom. Okay, if you could tell Beyonce anything, assuming that she would see this one day, what would you tell her? <laughs> Girl, do keep doing, keep going forward. Do what you gotta do. Do what you dream. Do what you you are. You 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 are. You are. You are. You are. And then then whether they like it or not, whether they see it, or whether they don't follow anybody else's dream but yours. You know what I mean. And still be be real and honest and be real to your kids like you are. And you know just just don't be you, girl. Kevin's energy was so cozy and just like you can't break B's soul Kevin definitely can't break his NDA child <laughs> peeps always remember that sometimes the answer is in the non-answer see you tomorrow girls <laughs>